Alright then, welcome back to Immortal Planet. So I've grinded a bit, I got 5,088 um, experience. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to be buying everything from this guy up here. I'm hoping this is enough. I've also found out that uh, when you die, there is, remember those blue lights and the cracks on the grounds? It turns out those are areas you've died last. And when you go over them and recover stuff, you recover health and also all your past experience. I never realized that. What will become of us now? Will there be anything left? Uh, well, I mean, if you give me all your stuff, there will be, maybe. Thank you. Yeah, it's always cool. Alright, change items. Let's see, what can we change the pistol to? A grenade that coats the ground in spreading flames, stuns foes on a direct hit. Okay, I could do that. Uh, immortal blood, recovers health. I think health is more important than endurance at the moment. Because I'm not really running out of a, a stamina, I mean. I'm not really running out of stamina. Uh, what about the lightning bolt? Lightning bolt's cool. It directs them to the nearest foe, or at least the foe you're highlighting over, I believe. Uh, the psychic emits a beam of light that scorches the earth and flenses the body. Uh, the psychic releases a shockwave of psychic force, a surge of focused psychic energy, rejuvenates psychic's body, heals recent wounds, and restores all stamina. Fires a blazing sphere that detonates on impact. The flame it produces burns anything, even the psychic that created them. Um, I think I'm going to switch the telekinesis thing with fireball. I can't use fireball at the moment, but it's better than the shockwave thing, because the shockwave thing revolves, um, it, de it depends on me being near the target. And if I'm near the target, they can attack me, and I don't want to be near them in that case. The only times I want to be near them is if I've dashed towards them, hit them, and then dashed away. Or just walk towards them. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to depend on my XP, to get my intelligence, I think it's intelligence, up. Yeah, I'm trying to learn the power, but I'm not strong enough. I'm not smart enough. I believe it's intelligence. Can I check? Ooh, check out this. Uh, ten plus, uh, temple Sentinel. Mighty Guardian of the Temple, meant to be invincible. After raiding against the ill fated Rebellion of Prisoner 1, not only guards those who sleep, but acts as a warden against early walk wakers. The true sentinel is the sword. Any awake walker who attempts to claim it instead becomes its successor, driven to fight in times of crisis. As it says in the ancient description, caution only handle in case of emergencies. Quite a pity. It's really, it's really a very nice sword. <laughs> okay. Uh, awake walker. A violent awake walker armed with a sword and an iron will, but it seems that is all they have left. While the other generations sleep, one arises becoming awake walkers that run society. Some are craftsmen, some are workers, some are artists, some are scholars. Each de generation defines the nature of their own cycles and makes the most of their, um, their otherwise meager existence. These are the cycles of sleep that defies the immortal way of life, with the certainly certainty that they have no end. They turn to the cycles of guidance and strength in the face of boredom and stagnation. Gunwalker. An awake walker who has claimed a makeshift rifle and uses it with deadly accuracy. The temple is a tomb, a place of rest for the immortals. Many cryopods are empty now, and immortals are not meant to be awake for long. Each cryopod is assigned to its sleeper. When their bodies are destroyed, their pod locks onto their mental signature and attracts it, attracts it so they may crystallize in a consistent location. Otherwise, they may appear elsewhere on the planet's surface, unrecoverable. Temple Guard, which are the hard ones that sometimes, unless you get them by surprise. A guard of the lofty temple, nimble yet deadly. The cycles of sleep are of sacred importance, yet it has been so long that they were established that no one remembers where they, why they began. It is well known that sleeping in the cryopod erodes memory, but the alternative is whispered to be far worse. The temple guards had a twin duty to guard those that slept in the temple and to hunt down and punish any who fail or refuse to sleep. Stirring for one's generation is the greatest taboo. Archivist. Um, a ravaged archivist 
mad with pain and exhaustion, armed with technology that augments their latent psychic abilities. The archivists were the scientists and bookkeepers of the immortals. Many psychers who were uninterested in joining the authority came here, pursuing the contents of the mind rather than its limits. Yet they were ignored by the populace even when their sanctuary was defiled by invaders from above. With the destruction of the archives, it cannot be known exactly how much was lost, but the loss itself has driven the archivists mad and excavated their insomnia. And alien trooper, which are the invaders, invaded from beyond the stars. Those were the they were the vanguard and provided covering fire as their fellow slaughters, uh, fellows slaughtered the archivists. They came without warning. The archivists, long having put violence behind them, were compliment, complacent, and unprepared. Such cruelty and ruin was unimaginable to their peaceful fo folk until it became their new reality. Once organized, the ranks of the aliens have collapsed and they have gone from ransacking the archives to infesting them like vermin. Wait, there was another one. Awake man. A powerful um, psycho writes in madness. Suspended between sleeping and walking, their dreams manifest as floating horrors. Entry incomplete. Absorb six more experience from this foe. Really? Okay. Six isn't that much. I just need to kill it again. But it won't appear again, so that's the thing. Um, inventory. I was hoping to... Uh, oh yeah, it's five intelligence. Good. Alright, let's go versus this guy. Hey. How are ya? There we go. An elite guard of the prison, effective at fighting at any range. Well, I mean, you may say that, but he died. Interesting, interesting. Alright. Let's see what's down here. Getting a little better at this game, I reckon. Ooh, nice. Um, can't do anything. I think I'll be good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, uh, I was going to go into the hallway to draw him out, but I forgot he could throw poison. <laughs> Those lasers are annoying, though. Okay, I'll only use them out of desperation. There we go. Okay, what did that do? Move this? Yeah, it did. Very cool. I like that. Oh, hey. Boombo. Damn it. Stamina didn't reload fast enough. I've really got to stop trusting that. It regenerates fast, but not fast enough sometimes. So I've got to start backing away once my stamina is about to go down. There we 
we go. <laughs> I made it throw it off the edge. Boomba. Take that, mate. Oh, I need to activate two sides. That's interesting. Ooh, two of them. I just need to activate only one, though. So that's handy. Ah, damn. That was my fault. I'm in trouble. <laughs> he can't get over here. Oh, poor guy. Wanna know how to get over here? I can guide you. Hear that. <sighs> okay. I'm not gonna survive this. I'll use the XP I've got right now to level up a bit. <laughs> Oh, this is actually getting hard. But I'm sure it'll be like the other guys. The other guys were pretty hard at first. But then we leveled up a bit. And it was fine. Like, really good. Um, so... I'll go with this one again. Alright, so since my game ch chooses not to unpause, it is missed a little bit. Um, I unlocked the rest of the bridge. I am going to grind on these guys for a little while because I want to have around... I'm probably going to aim for around 5,000 XP. Maybe 10,000 if I get bored. Um, there will be heaps of grinding, so jump cuts in this series by the way, because it's the game where you need to grind so you can actually take care of the enemies without a problem. Or at least hopefully without a problem, so I want to be able to kill these guys in one stamina run, if possible. If not, then at least in one and a half. So otherwise, I'm gonna jump cut and grind. So, be right back. All right, welcome back to Immortal Planet. Uh, I said I'd get 5,000 XP last time. Sort of went overboard, I got 25,000. But that helps. <laughs> because I need to put five into intelligence to be able to work that spell I've got. And then, what are we going to use the rest on? That's my question. I don't actually know. I want attack damage, but I also want health. So I'm thinking this. I think my stamina could use a little work as well, so maybe an even dose between these? Seven. Seven seems good. 120 damage. 247 stamina. Health 256, spell damage 130, one bonus item uses, which would go down if I did four. Uh, yeah, that seems good. Let's rest. <laughs> I like that pose. I didn't realize he did a pose before you start walking. Alright, let's see what our new damage is like. Hey, mate. Uh, it's still okay. I only did five that time. I probably could have done six. No, I think I can only do five still. That sucks. But it's fine. Um, Now, I do want to go on further. But, there is something I am missing. And I'm pretty stupid for not realizing this last time. Okay, so that's that area. Don't need to go to them. Um, the, what do you call it, the, the area we're at before, the archivists. Oh, you're still here, God damn it! I mean, I thought this guy was a big bad boss, and yet I've been killing his kind for ages now. Hey, man. Boom! Ow. Yeah, okay. 
Um, try not to cool there, and then it didn't work. But I'm um, in the archive. Is there's those moving platforms to get from side to side, and I forgot. If you're close enough to a landing point, you can just dash. And I've been wondering, how do you get to this certain area? And I guess you have to dash over. Oh, so they actually... Summon. I've been learning to use the lightning after attacking, because it stuns them so you can get away. better for grinding than it is for anything else though because grinding you're gonna rest so it's just gonna regenerate but other stuff you may need the lightning for later on so that's why I grind to get stronger now I can finally see what that fireball thing does though and it stalls up to six charges so that's awesome okay so over here now if I remember right no, there's nothing there. Got it. There's the Ravager. You're easy, mate. Nope. No hidden platforms. Got it. Can I, like, dash over there? I don't... I, th I doubt it. I doubt I could dash over there. Don't want to try it either. So you see that platform right there? It's an even pace. It's evenly paced. From there. Do these go away if I get close to them? Nope, not like the other ones. Let's try this. Yeah! Ow. Those guys are annoying. Alright, does this turn off all the laser grids? Yep, they're all down. Nice. See, I didn't actually realize I could do that, so I kept on trying to continue, and I may have missed something because of this. Now, let's see, what else did that activate? I don't think there were any laser grids over here. Whoa! That was close. I didn't expect that. I gotta expect that more in the future. Oh, hey, mate. How are you? Ah! Whoa! Okay! Okay. Oh, I'm back here. God damn it. Okay, let's rest here, so this could be my new checkpoint. Uh, wrong way. Whoops. Do I need to turn the lasers off again? Because if so, that's going to be annoying. Nope. Don't need to. 
Though, I do need to go over here. Now, I'll keep an eye out for these dropping guys. I didn't move around fast enough. I move away fast enough. Wow, that's gonna be annoying. There's a bomb like right there. God damn. A marauder from elsewhere armed with mines and a deadly wrist blade launcher. Okay. God damn! God! Whoa! Okay! Yeah! Um... <laughs> Overkill! Overkill! <laughs> I can take him on. Hopefully. Your friend's dead. You shouldn't come down here. Oh, three hits now. I just realized that. Maybe it's because I'm hitting it directly instead of on an angle. God damn it, I killed him as well. <sighs> I need to get used to these guys. These guys are stronger than the other guys in the prison. Mainly because they have pretty good attacks. I mean, the other guys do too, but they're pretty easy to avoid once you get used to them. These guys are probably going to be the same. Once I get used to their attack pattern, I should be fine. Alright. See, so yeah, I just need to keep a good distance away from them talking about that. <laughs> Whoops. Honestly, every time I re-heal, I should go back and go, go, those, go get those other heals, because they help a lot. guys, time for you. Ow! Try another trick. Oh, you triggered him! God damn you. There you go. Try not to fall off the edge. Because if I do, everything's going to respawn. Huh. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, 
fleeing a chunk of ice that freezes an enemy. Well, that seems pretty cool. But if it's a one-use thing, I doubt I'd put it into my inventory. Oh, we're over here now. What's this? Ah, there's the bridge. <laughs> 